Hey guys, today I saw this article. Strategist warns euphoria is taking over markets. First off, what does euphoria mean? It's a feeling or state of intense excitement and happiness. That sounds like a good thing, but one thing we know for anything that is super intense is that it doesn't or it cannot last forever. So I will read you some of this article and tell you my thoughts on what is happening. But there are still no obvious catalysts for a market sell-off. So it's going really high, but we're not sure it's going to fall down. That basically sums up what's happening. The S&P 500 closed at its third straight record high on Tuesday. But some strategists on Wall Street are concerned that the current market environment has made stocks vulnerable to a decline. U.S. earnings expectations have certainly V-shaped, and this has been accompanied by an enormous reversal in risk appetite in almost a minuscule amount of financial time writes Sean Darby, global equity strategist at Jefferies. What does V-shape mean? V-shape just means what happened here, where we experienced a steep drop and a steep rise back up. It is really unprecedented what is happening of how fast it dropped and how fast it went back up. Some of our indicators are beginning to move into the euphoria stage, and we caution that managing drawdown risk is coming to the fore. Drawdown risk just means that they think it's going to fall back down and people are going to start selling off their positions. Among other factors, Darby notes that the equal weighted S&P 500 is flatlining, while the cap weighted index cited as the benchmark index makes new highs. The FAAMG now makes up more than 23% of the S&P 500's market cap. Now, the FAAMG, or FANG, represents Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google. I forgot what the M is, but basically the biggest companies. So when we're looking at how fast the S&P 500 is growing, this is actually not a majority of it, but a huge part of it. Why he is uh, referring to the equal weighted S&P 500 is that this gives more weight to smaller cap companies. So while a few select companies are doing well and pulling this whole thing up, if you look at the equal weighted index, it's actually quite flat. This means a lot of companies aren't doing as well as a lot of these indexes will have you believe. And again, what the equal market index does is it makes all the companies within the S&P 500 equal. So they're each worth 0.2%. So it doesn't matter if you're Apple or if you're a competitor of Apple, you're equal the same in this index. As we noted Monday, hedge funds have piled into these names, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, oh, it's Microsoft, that's what it was, and Alphabet, Google, and beat the market handily as a result. But the divide between the equal and cap-weighted indexes show fewer stocks have participated in the leg latest leg of this rally. That's what I was saying. There's just not that many stocks participating in all of this uh, rise. Darby also cautions on the speed of the market's ascent, adding that this rally has been well above the average of the previous S&P 500 recoveries from market lows. So this is also something we should take note, that We've been in recessions, we've been in dips before, but this is actually one of the biggest and strongest uh, recoveries that we've ever seen. And you can see this chart right here. Just look at the angle of it. It's definitely going up, but it's a little bit flatter. And this is our current cycle back up. It's quite a bit steeper. Of course, this is not an average recovery or an average recession. The economic and financial market snapback we've seen in the last few months followed a scary abrupt decline in financial markets and mandated closures across the U.S. economy. But with these changes happening at what Darby calls the speed of financial light, caution right now is warranted. The bottom line is that as investors buy into the earnings growth, risk appetite is moving into the euphoria stage. The obvious catalysts for a correction are not present but the technical stretch of some of our indicators are a warning sign. A close watch should be kept on the U.S. 30-year-old yield and any sign that the U.S. money supply is rolling over. So part of the reason why we've experienced all of this growth is because the Fed has been pumping money back into our hands and interest rates are at record lows. There's just money flowing everywhere. But actually, even though it seems like everything's growing, the amount of money we have buys less stock than, than ever, basically. I mean, there, there definitely still is growth, but it's just happening at such an aggressive rate. Darby's saying that we should 
shouldn't worry because there's nothing overtly telling us that it's going to drop, but it's pushing on the edges of some indicators. And indicators are just technical analysis of how a trend or graph or stock might behave. So I'm just going to skip past this. But at the end, he gives a funny little warning that this rally seems intent on converting every market bear before all is said and done. People every day think that this is as high it's going to go, that it's going to drop. But the market doesn't really care about what you think. And so far, it's just continued to go up in a very strong bull momentum. This is what people have been doing to Tesla all year. And it just kept going up. Euphoria market is something that analysts warn about every time we are in a bullish run for a long time. So you can see that late last year, there were also warnings of a euphoria market. And shortly after, the illness happened and everything went to shit. But... Does this mean that every time we're in a euphoria market that we're going to experience a drawdown? Absolutely not. There's no guarantees. People aren't trading just by the strength of the economy or financials. People trade on feelings and emotions. And as of today, the stock market is booming. And there's just the euphoria that he's talking about is just everyone wants to get in because they're seeing it grow and they don't want to miss the train. So people are just hopping on the train and throwing more and more cash into the system. And it's just going to continue to go up as people believe it's going to go up and it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy right now but yeah that's all i had for today if that was helpful please like and subscribe and i will see you all next time